Hello guys, welcome back to another reaction video here on Our Eyes Your Eyes. I'm ready to watch episode 15 of Osama Ranking, Ranking of Kings. But before starting this video I just want to remind you to subscribe to the channel, click on the notification bell, leave a like to support me and join me in this super amazing adventure. Okay, in the previous episode we saw that Boji could rescue healing, but then we discovered that Oaken has a sort of a background story. Let's see what's going to happen today. Are you ready to join me with this? Check it out. That's right. Hey, you no, don't know many things, so healing. <laughs> ah, yes, that's true. That was the mission they had. Yes. No, 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 I don't think so. Eh, hey, this is the big deal. I think he will forgive him in the future. He will give him a second chance. Let's see his greatness. Yes! Yes. You have another mission now. Of course. You're not alone anymore, buddy. I'm so happy. Thank you, Kage, once again. Oh, you see how great the body is. Of course! <laughs> oh, this is an anticipation of the future. Body in front and all the rest behind. Oh, healing! Here we go. No, I still believe that Boss is doing everything to let Boji shine. Oh yeah, because Desha is coming uh, now. Is it Desha? Hey, I told you, these are the soldiers of Desha. Let's see. Eh, uh, see? No, no, wait. Uh, listen to him. Uh -huh. Maybe he has something to say. Because we still don't know what Bosse told him. Uh, what, what, what he was whispering. Uh, listen to him. No! <laughs> no, I still believe he has something to say. Three only. Hey, my fact! <laughs> you think that he is alone, but he is not. <laughs> oh! <laughs> yeah. He trained them. Oh! Hey, Hokuto, stay there, okay? <laughs> Where? Are you sure? Oh! I thank you for the suggestion. <laughs> Oh, what the F? Hey, 
But that doesn't mean anything. I mean, it depends on the strength of the person. Uh. Oh, I mean, a body is uh, teaching you this. <laughs> Too self confident, uh, as always. Uh. Domas. Actually, this is the first time that we see this area. I mean, we saw it before, but it's not the same. Wow, Domas! Good job! And Hokuto is still there, hiding. Now be confident, Hokuto. I think you're great, too. I think so. Hey, he is one of the big four. <laughs> of course he is. No! Who's coming? Is it this hot? That's hot, right? Or not, to know who is this? Ah, this, huh? Okay, okay, okay. That's right. Uh. Thomas, be careful. Yeah, he wants to conquer the kingdom. And this makes you understand that he is strong, huh? Oh! No, 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 you're wrong. You're making a huge mistake. Uh, Boji will prove you wrong, I guess. Ah, <laughs> uh, be careful, Domas. I don't know, is he pretending to be strong when he is not, like his brother? <laughs> I don't think so. Oh! Oh my! What? Oh, look, he's like his brother at the end of the day. <laughs> no way. No, for a second, I thought that he was a super strong. <laughs> oh, no matter how much you train, it just the. Uh... No way. Uh, no, 
I think Bodji will make a difference with you. Oh, good job, Hokuto! Ah, Hokuto, yes. Oh, they are coming! Oh. Oh, thank you. Th that was faster. <laughs> oh no. Oh no, 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 no. I laugh now because later. <laughs> and he's coming from the sky. <laughs> Thank you, Giga. <gasps> oh, my. Now or never. Yes. Yes. And uh, yes, no, Boji, look, uh, stay calm, okay? Yes, I remember, and I feel your pain. Oh, oh, my. Boji, everything is okay. Yes, but I understand him. He's nervous. Oh my, what's wrong? Oh, yes, yes, but he's trying to fight against it. Uh. He is already, actually. Yes, <laughs> he's, he wants to hug him, maybe. No, oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. Okay. Yes, you have this second chance. Don't waste it. Uh, go next to him and prove him. Uh, well, I like uh, that is fighting against himself. Uh, No, that's uh, unfair. Don't attack behind us. Oh. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, yes. Oh, yeah. Show them. Nana, no, no. he's no more incompetent. Thanks to your brother. 
Oh, oh, oh. oh yeah, that's the same attack he sent on Oaken. No! No! Bodgy prove prove him. Now you'll see the difference. Oh! Ho, ho! Yes! Nice question. Mirangio, I think it's me. Yes! Mirangio! Oh! Ho, ho. Okay. You will know her really soon. Yeah. Oh! Okay, she killed the queen. Okay, guys, another amazing episode finished. First of all, I want to talk about Domas because you know that at the beginning I was totally against him, also because he betrayed Boji, and I think that that moment was one of the saddest moments of this season because we see how fragile Boji was and how Domas didn't care about him at all. So that moment was uh, pretty sad. I was always standing on Boji's side, of course. But in this episode, I want to say that I like Domas too, because he knows that what he did to Boji was totally wrong, and his repentment was definitely bigger than himself. His uh, regret was bigger than himself, and in this episode you see how frustrated he is, because he can't change that moment uh, or what happened, but at the same time, he has another chance because uh, Bosse gave him this mission. But at the same time, he got the second chance by being rescued and by surviving. And this is something great because this means that he can't lose this second chance. He has to go on and prove Boji that he was wrong. Thanks to that, he can regain the trust that he lost. So I definitely think that together with Hokuro, especially Hokuro, who was the man who believed in Boji since day one. So I think that by seeing Hokuro next to him, Boji will understand that it's a good thing to give him a second chance. But in the meantime, I totally understand Boji's side. I, I understand his feelings. I understand even uh, when he's trying to fight against his own self. And this is so great because Boji is not like the others. Boji, when uh, you are betraying him, he is contrasting this will to get his revenge. He is contrasting these malevolent feelings. And this is super great because this makes you understand that Boji is definitely the hope for the future. He can be a king that can solve things in a different way, but it's still not the moment for him to shine and to let people understand what he is doing because it takes time. It was the first time that he saw this huge betrayal in front of his eyes. And by having these new things happening to him, it takes time to process them and to find a way to go against these dark feelings he has. So I really appreciate this main character because he's proving us that if we try to think more, there is a space for peaceful thoughts instead of vengeful ones. I think that Boji in the future, as I was telling you in the previous episodes, he will forgive Thomas, especially because now he proved for the first time that he wants to rescue him. So this is already a step forward from both sides. But I'm pretty sure that Boji will make a huge difference uh, by forgiving him and maybe in the future by asking him to be his protector. 
he's a shield and that will be so amazing I really like the fact that Boji is always giving a second chance to everyone I think that even for Domas that would be the same path but as I was telling you it takes time and I really like the how Wit Studio was representing these mixed feelings inside Boji and how he was trying to fight them all because he has a pure heart he has a special way to convey feelings and to convey messages even if uh, through words uh, he can't uh, but his eyes uh, are speaking for himself his gestures uh, are speaking for himself and thank god that he has a great supporter a great friend like kage i wanted to remark this kage is uh, going beyond my imagination because at the beginning of this story i would have never imagined the uh, i mean i would have imagined that kage would have become a great friend for boji but not at this level i think that without kage this story would have been so different even the development of uh, boji's character is connected with uh, kage's greatness so kage is developing too but at the same time he is the right shoulder of the king and uh, the, the king that will become king that means Boji even if uh, these two characters are definitely different and they are coming from a different environment Kage is proving to himself first and then to Boji and to all the others that he changed he changed a lot so this relationship between him and Boji is completing one another i mean as i was telling you these are two characters by matching together and by supporting each other can create something definitely great big and different and kake proved us throughout this journey that he could develop mixed feelings too feelings that he has never felt before because he was always uh, thinking about uh, stealing things about doing something bad etc etc but by knowing Boji that it was a sort of light for him because you know that Kage is all black but by having this light uh, that is Boji he could change too he could develop this uh, friendship relationship and he could uh, feel something different something that he only felt for him his mom and this is something explosive okay at the same time Boji who has never had a friend before who has always been surrounded by people who were bullying him and mocking him throughout all the time he found in darkness this light that is this friendship because uh, as I was telling you Kage is surrounded uh, by this dark tone of color but at the same time even in darkness you can find the answer do you remember i told you this even for daida daida too he's surrounded by darkness right now but even if he was surrounded by darkness he could find the answer and he could understand a little bit miranjo more and at the same time he was always uh, thinking about his brother he was always uh, thinking about Boji and what happened to Boji throughout all his life so as you can see darkness is not just an enemy and in this story you understand that it's necessary to discover darkness in order to shine so I definitely think that Boji right now he is in a dark place because he has to defeat these uh, mischievous and these negative feelings he is feeling but he will make it because he has lots of friends right now this reminds me of naruto a little bit because even in naruto's case naruto was growing uh, by being alone by being mocked by being uh, bullied but at the same time in darkness by having this uh, great power inside himself he could manage it little by little by being surrounded by people uh, who would care about him time after time and then we saw i just remember that naruto frame in which you see him alone at first but then he is uh, always next to many other people and this makes a difference and i think that that's what's going to happen to boji too at the beginning he was totally alone and nobody could understand him but now 
or in the future, you will see Boggi surrounded by lots of people. It's just about time, but I like this story because it makes you understand that even if you have a disability, if you are alone at the beginning, that doesn't mean that this thing is going to last forever. It depends on you. It depends on how you develop your strength inside yourself to confront and to contrast all these stupid people. But the other way is to develop inside yourself a way to go against all these and try to modify it, not by fighting, but thanks to other ways to find answers. And in fact, Boji could make it, look, even if he has a short sword, but you all know that Despa was essential in this process because he was teaching him not to fight in the usual way, but to find another way to fight all these things. And I totally appreciate it. Then another thing I wanted to say is that uh, Desha was explaining finally his project. Uh, I mean, we already understood in the previous episodes that he wanted to go against Miranjo somehow, but in this episode he was clear enough to let us understand that Miranjo did something really bad. And if we follow the rumor that Dorshe was saying in the previous episodes, uh, she killed Boji's mom. And this is something crazy. Because as soon as Boji will meet her, I told you already, he will get in touch with the truth. And what's happening now to Boji, that means that he's trying to manage his uh, feelings of anger, his feelings of revenge and whatsoever, can help him to manage the big truth that he has to face. That means that Miranjo killed his own mom. This is something crazy. I don't know how Boji will react to this, sincerely. But definitely, I think that by starting accepting these feelings and try to recover them, he will be ready to contrast her and to have a special dialogue with her because he will not be able to speak. I mean, there will be Kage next to him speaking for him, but in the case of Boji, I think that the best way to communicate is to talk in a different way. And I think that Miranjo will have the first chance to talk to a person without words. And this would be so amazing. I can't wait for that moment. But anyway, yeah. Desha can stay on Boji's side at this point if he is converting this wheel of a fight in a different way and by supporting Boji, things can be different and that kingdom that is lost because of Miranjo can go back as what it was before. So I still hope that Boji can let Desha understand that there is a way to regain that kingdom and it's not by fighting, it's by doing something else. Let's see. Last but not least, I wanted to praise healing once again, even if we saw her in one scene only. I want to say that I really like her as much as I have liked her since uh, uh, the first time we saw her. I mean, not just at the beginning, but later more, definitely. And once again, she is praising Boji and she is calling him as her son, her special son. And this is super amazing. I love how healing is sensitive and how she cares about him, even if he is not her child. But this makes you understand that bonds can go against the blood relationship, can go against the fact that even if you're not blood related, you can still create something special that goes beyond everything. And I totally understand the healing for this. Her mother instinct is uh, super amazing. And I hope that when Daida will be back, she will never make a difference between the two. And I think that she can do this. I think that she will be an important part to reconnect Daida and Boji somehow. Let's stay tuned, but okay, no, I forgot one thing. In this episode, 
Desha is proving Domas that no matter the great weapons you have, the most important thing is a strategy. Sometimes we judge warriors or we judge people by how great they are externally speaking. I mean, if they have a great weapon, if they have a big weapon, if they have a, a big um, message to spread and things like this. But in my opinion, the greatness of a person is not measured by how big the weapon is or by how the authority he has but from uh, the internal side of ourselves. So even Boji, even Desha was proving that by having a huge weapon, the result is uh, the thing that matters. And in fact, you see that he could defeat Domas by just kicking him. <laughs> so there was nothing compared to this big weapon, but this thing could make a difference as much as Boji, trained by Despa, could make a difference not because of the weapon, but because of the intentions. So once again, intentions are more important than the tools you have next to you. And at the same time, people shouldn't judge from appearance. Because no matter how Desha's weapon was big, at the end of the day, he was not using it. As much as Boji, who has a short sword, but he can change everything. So. Never judge the book from the cover, as I always told you. And this was so amazing too. And never underestimate people. Because even in the case of Domas, even if he was alone against all the soldiers of Desha, he could manage it. Because no matter the quantity, I mean, no matter if it's one versus a 10 or one versus a 100, if you are strong enough and if you have a, a special strength that is mental strength you can definitely survive uh, no matter if you're alone or not okay guys i think for this episode that that is it i hope you enjoyed it now stay tuned because next week i come back with episode 16 of ranking of kings or summer ranking in the meantime feel free to subscribe to the channel and click on the notification bell bye guys see you in the next video